Yeah, I was over here last night and I saw this monument. I even did a little video, but I didn't know who it was for. It's the Eisenhower Alaska, what's that, statehood monument. You said uh, Ike was pushing for Alaska statehood? Yes. As well he should. I didn't know that. That Ike, he was just one hell of a dude, wasn't he? Was. he? I'd definitely shake his hand and slap him in the nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Nuts, you made me laugh and there my camera shook. Aww. I gotta go over and see the old Ike man. And there he is, Dwight David Eisenhower, Alaska Statehood. Oh, 1 3 1959. Alaska came into the United States in uh, January of 1959. We're starting to get a little bit of precipitation, but I don't really care because. It's time to go home. Uh, this is pretty cool. The tent city in 1915. I'll hold this on long enough so that I can read a little bit of it whenever I'm watching it on, uh, on the tube. Let's, there's a couple more of these signs. Let's see what it says. The old coal farms and the railroad. The mission of the Alaska Railroad was to open up the rich interior for development. Coal, gold, and agriculture were powerful incentives. Four hundred and seventy-eight miles of steel. Oh, that's got to be the uh, the railroad lines. Look at that! What those dudes did back in the old days. And they opened it up for this. The McKinley Explorer, the, uh, the railroad. Now our hotel, that, that uh, railroad is no more than 100 yards or so from uh, our room. But it didn't, uh, didn't bother me. 